Tonight is our, uh, it's kind of our christening of our new Raku kiln we just purchased from uh, Jim Cooper. He owns Cooper Works Kilns out of uh, Inglewood, Colorado. And we're really excited. We've got a staff only event tonight. And uh, it's all of our instructors and all of their significant others. And we're just having a bit of a <laughs> employee appreciation dinner for them. And we're gonna fire pots all night long. Can we see the kiln real quick? Yeah, let's go check out the kiln. So this is the Raku kiln. Seals shut here. We heat it up. We open the kiln up. That's what's really special about Jim's design. It's a clamshell. A lot of times you ha we're having to pick up the kiln over and it's really tough to do that. So it gets glowing red hot and then we kind of peek it open a little bit. We take some tongs, we grab our pot, and then we come over here to these trash cans. We load them full of combustibles. We put the glowing red hot pot down inside there and uh, stomp it out with a lid. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of <laughs> science and a lot of, you know, uh, it's an oxygen deficient atmosphere we're creating essentially. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a type of, it's a process that's pretty instantly gratifying if you're familiar with the ceramic or pottery process, right? It's a long time to make stuff, a long time to fire stuff. Uh, we're gonna put some glaze on these pots. We're gonna fire them just like I described to you. And then we're gonna go home with pot, finished pots tonight. So that's really what's exciting about it. Amazing. Yeah. And you got some tacos. We got tacos tonight from a nice little local uh, taqueria right up the road, half a mile away. So I hope uh, that I could wait until everyone else gets here for dinner. <laughs> and how often are you gonna do raku firings? We're going to do raku firings at the studio once a month. They're gonna be on the last Sunday of every month. So when you want to, we'll let everyone know how to sign up and get involved with all of that. Yay. Yeah. Thank you guys. You're the most important people in my work life. And I'm so thankful for you, and I love all the work you're doing. Everyone loves all the work you're doing. Rave reviews, positive feedback, it's fabulous. So thank you guys, let's eat. Sweet. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh getting ready to paint our pots. We really don't uh, dip and pour the raku glaze. Um, it's more or less always brushed on. Sometimes you can spray it, but anyway, so we've got all, we have all these different colors. We've got a copper sand. This is gonna be a matte blue finish. We've got, this one's really fun. This is going to be like, a, this is gonna be, when you think of raku, more of what a traditional glaze might look like as far as, um, <clears throat> what you're familiar to seeing, it's gonna have some nice copper flashing, some colors, some reds, blues, greens. It's gonna be really nice. It's also a matte finish. So we've got a whole litany and a wide variety of colors and we've got some beautiful pots that everyone has made. So I'm really excited to see how they look. That's a good uh, jar. That worked out good. Yeah. Yeah. I should see the number Take a class first. Number of we got. We finally sold off all of our. This one's about, the other one's about ready for go time right now because that one already got closed so up. So did we light this already? Oh yeah, it's been piloted the whole time. So should I 
What is this process happening right so now? So these are, I guess we would call these our post firing reduction barrels if you wanted to get kind of technical, but essentially we're gonna take the glowing red pots out of the kiln as quickly as we can, put them in here with the combustibles, set fire as quick as we can, uh, and then smother that fire down so that we have a reduced oxygen atmosphere that uh, plays well with the glazes, how we get our effects and whatnot. This is a copper mat. It's gonna have a sandy matte finish. It's gonna have some copper flashes and maybe some colorful blues and greens in there too. everybody it's the next day and now we're able to actually see some pots uh, take a look at our results and uh, you know take stock of what's good and what's bad so we did the night shooting so the six to eight essentially is when we were doing photography and we picked that time so that it was really dark and the pots are glowing and they just it makes for spectacular photos and uh, so we'll be sharing those with you soon. Also, we'll throw a couple at the end of this clip, so be sure to stick around for those. But, um, you know, it was a little dark, it's a little unsafe, so we're not likely going to be doing Raku that late ever again. Like I said, we did it just for the pictures. But anyway, let's go take a look. So this is just a few of them. We fired probably close to 30 pots. Look at the color on that pumpkin, wow. That is something. And here's a real classic Raku oil slick. This one's called Copper Penny. It's very metallic. I mean, you can see like it's like a mirror image on the surface of that glaze. There's a lovely plate. This is one of my favorites. This is uh, by Rachel. She is in our, uh, she's our Tuesday night wheel throwing, Monday and Tuesday night wheel throwing instructor. She does a lot of Raku. 
I just love how this crackle came out. And then she put some green under glaze on the bottom and then the same crackle on top. The black spot in the middle, the black line is unglazed and that's what happens when you put uh, unglazed pot in the reduction can post Raku firing. And then of course some more white crackle. Man, here's a great one by Lada. This is hand built, just love this piece. And this one's mine, very happy with it. Just a simple little bottle, little crackle. And then we've got Andy's here. This is lovely, this blue, man. I just love the metallic reflective surface. They're so engaging, they're so exciting to look at. Raku's a blast. So we had a great time. Thank you guys for sticking around and uh, be sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Thank you.